Distinguished guests, may you please take your seats. For university policy, we ask that you keep your masks on at all times during this ceremony. Additionally, please take this time to turn your phones to silence as the program will begin shortly.
Distinguished guests, the program will begin in just a moment. If you haven't already, please take your seats and remember to keep your masks on at all times.
Distinguished guests, please join us in welcoming our students to the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC, the DDS Class of 2024 and the ASPID Class of 2022.
On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students, welcome to the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC White Coat Ceremony. I became a dentist because I really enjoyed the fact that you can boost someone's self-esteem and confidence all by changing their smile. My father is actually a physician and I grew up watching him help others and it really inspired me to also help others. I knew I was going to become a dentist the day that I got my braces off. I couldn't stop smiling that day, I had so much more self-confidence and I want to pay that forward. I became a dentist because I wanted to work with people and I wanted to incorporate science into my everyday profession. I became a dentist because it's the perfect combination of art and science. You have the immediate fulfillment of seeing the beauty of your work in a patient's smile, but also taking into account the patient's health and function of their teeth. I became a dentist because uh, my family dentist was a USC grad. I liked his lifestyle and he had a great family life. I thought I could do this the rest of my life. My wife, Barbara, she inspired me to become a dentist. She had worked as a registered nurse for the four years to help support me through dental school. That was 58 years ago, and we're still happily married. So I looked into pharmacy and medicine and law. Dentistry just appealed to me the most. It seemed like one where I could treat patients and do medicine, but at the same time work with my hands. So it was the most appealing, actually. My first day in dental school, in a class of dental anatomy, our revered uh, professor informed us that we were already six weeks behind. So the first year of dental school, I have very fond memories, especially starting from the very first day, and then the next four years was a blur. Walking through those front doors, seeing the banners of USC, it's a moment that I realized all that hard work in undergrad finally paid off. I chose USC because I grew up in LA and it's considered the best dental school in Los Angeles and one of the best in the world. The reason I chose the Herman Oster School of Dentistry is because I went to USC for undergrad and once you're a Trojan, you're a Trojan for life. USC has always been my dream school. I applied for undergrad but I didn't get in so I vowed to myself that I would work really, really hard and apply again for professional school and I got in this time. Even though I am a Bruin, I chose USC because it is the best dental school. When I was attending San Diego State for my undergraduate work, my dentist in San Diego was a USC graduate, and he always told me that USC was the best dental school to go to in the country. One of the reasons I chose USC was because it's in Southern California. You have the sun and the beaches, but unfortunately, you're not going to be able to enjoy it until after you graduate. White coat ceremony was actually very uh, emotional for, for me and my family. My mom came up to me afterwards and said it was one of the happiest events and experiences of her life. And the reason, she said, is because the white coat ceremony, she knew that now I was in a profession, in a career, and that I would be okay and be able to support myself, and she wouldn't have to worry as a mother anymore. One memory I remember from my white coat ceremony was actually my grandfather came, and he's from the Philippines, and it was the one thing that I got to do with him while I was still here. It was meaningful for my friends and my family to be at my white coat ceremony because it showed how much support they had for me and I wanted to share this special milestone with them. When you graduate from USC, you can expect that you're going to be trained in one of the best dental schools in the world and in one of the most competitive. So you really are prepared to do very well in the world as far as access to alumni and a large support group and being able to survive out there. One of the things you can expect after you graduate is being a part of the Trojan family and having a lot of support from all the other hygienists that come before you. And if you need help, advice, counsel, call them. That's what we're there for. My family has been such a great support system for me through this entire journey and process. My family was very supportive because I was the first really to get to this level of education. One of the ways I was able to get through dental hygiene school was through the support of my family and without it, I couldn't have done it. My family's definitely been a big part of my education. Uh, they've always supported me from day one. They're extremely proud of me and it's something that I cherish and I carry with me every single day. My advice to you is to come to school every day prepared and before you know it, you'll be graduating. And my advice to you is to always be ethical and have the highest integrity with what you do and treat your patients like they're your friends and family. USC is really what you make of it, so take advantage of all the opportunities. So don't be afraid to ask questions. My best advice to you would be to find a place to have a quick bite to eat, because that's all you'll have time for. If you don't enjoy coffee now, you should probably start. If you don't want to try coffee, you could drink a lot of black tea. And to find a good place in the library to sleep. Don't forget what you've achieved here today. It's the start of your dental career. You have four years to go. After that, you have your whole dental profession life to look forward to.
I will dedicate my professional life to regarding each patient as a whole and complex person. I dedicate my life to the health of those whose lives I directly or indirectly touch. I will always practice my profession with the highest integrity. I will maintain by all means in my power the noble traditions of the dental profession. I will honor my fellow students as professional colleagues and function in such a fashion as to earn their trust and respect. I will always maintain the highest respect for human life. I make these promises without hesitation, freely and on my own. Fight on! Please welcome Dr. Avishai Sadan, Dean of the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC. Welcome to the 2021 White Coat Ceremony. My name is Avishai Sadan and I'm the Dean of the Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC. The White Coat Ceremony is always an exciting time for us as we proudly watch so many talented students taking their first step towards fulfilling their dreams of a dental career. But this year is a little different. We're not necessarily meeting these bright, talented individuals for the first time. We have already witnessed firsthand their intelligence, raw potential, unflappable work ethics, enduring dedication, and most importantly, their adaptability during this past year. We traditionally would have honored this class in the fall of 2020, but as you know, guidelines surrounding the pandemic made that impossible last year. Though this ceremony might be a year late, we couldn't be happier to properly celebrate this class here tonight. While tonight is a ceremonial mark of this class entry into the profession, it also marks a return to something that's been in short supply this past 20 months, normalcy. It feels incredible to be able to safely come together once again to celebrate the members of the DDS class of 2024 and the ASPID class of 2022. Please join me in a round of applause for these students. Today, we will witness an exciting transformation here inside the Bovard Auditorium. The women and men who filed in here today will depart forever changed. Students, by the time you leave today, you will have put on your Austro white coat for the first time. You will have taken a solemn oath to conduct yourself with compassion, honor, and professionalism and you will leave this auditorium as official members of the highly regarded Trojan dental family. As you've seen over the past year, this transformation will require much of you. Most importantly, you'll be expected to uphold the high standards set forth by more than 120 years worth of students who have come before you. It's a responsibility reserved only for the best of the best, and looking out at this crowd, I am remind, reminded how each of you is completely up to the challenge. Today is not only a special occasion for our students. We're also joined by the proud family, friends, and significant others who have stood by their students every step of the way. It is in part because of this unwavering love support and encouragement that our students have made it this far. To the family and friends of, in the audience, 
I'd like to offer our gratitude for entrusting us with your loved one's future. It is a responsibility we will not take lightly. Please join me in a round of applause for the family and friends joining us today. <laughs> Students, as you've already seen during the past year, your dental school studies are going to test your limits intellectually, emotionally, and physically. Your years at Ostro will not be easy ones. Many of you will routinely watch the sun set and rise over the dental school. You will spend hours studying in our library, conducting research in our laboratories, and providing treatments in our clinics. During this time, we will teach you to practice dentistry using the most innovative science, technologies, and methods. You will learn to practice dentistry not as it exists today, but as it, as it will be in 10, 15, or 20 years. It is partly this forward-looking curriculum that will help you stand apart from other dental school graduates across the nation. During your time at Ostro, there will be many exciting opportunities for you to augment your education even further outside the classroom. There will be chances to conduct research with some of the profession's most well-respected investigators, to provide treatment to some of society's most vulnerable populations, and to develop leadership skills as part of the many student groups here at Ostro. I encourage you to take advantage of as many opportunities as you can, because it is through these experiences that you will forge your raw talent, intelligence, and curiosity into a rock-solid career to last you the rest of your life. You now enjoy the many perks of being a member of the Trojan Dental family and are welcomed by the Century Club Alumni Association, the dental school's premier alumni support group. The group offers everything from mentorship to networking opportunities and connects you to a vast group of well-connected Trojan dentists willing and able to help you in your career. It's what being a Trojan Dental family member is all about. At this time, I'd like to introduce our first speaker. It was just three years ago that Scott Barlow sat here, just like many of you, eager to put on his white coat and begin his dental studies at Ostro. Today, he is a fourth year DDS student, the president of the Associated Student Body, and someone who has plenty of insight into what, com what the coming years have in store for you. Please help me welcome to the podium student doctor Scott Barlow. Hello, everyone. To our Trojan friend, family and friends, and to the DDS class of 2024 and Aspen class of 2022. My name is Scott Barlow, and I am honored to be here with you this evening to celebrate your accomplishments and to welcome you to our Ostro family. Over the past year, you have shown resilience and strength in the face of adversity. It is a privilege that we are able to come together to formally recognize your commitment to improving the health and well-being of others. I would not be standing here tonight without the unconditional love and support of my own family, and so I'd like to acknowledge all of the loved ones who have supported each of you throughout your personal journeys. I first stepped foot on the USC campus in 2014 as a freshman college student. When it came time for me to choose a dental school, I knew that I wanted to be a part of a program that prioritized innovation, evidence-based care, and service to the community. I now stand before you as a fourth-year dental student and continue to be impressed each and every day by the incredible opportunities for personal and professional growth here at Ostro. There are many great dental schools, but if I had the chance to go back in time, I would make the decision to pursue my dental education at Ostro over and over again. 
Throughout your time here, you will gain a solid foundation in the sciences that will serve to guide your decisions as an ethical and knowledgeable clinician. You have the opportunity to engage with faculty at the forefront of our field and conduct research that contributes to the advancement of the dental profession. You will gain the skills to provide life-changing care to underserved communities with your own two hands. And as a USC-trained dentist, you will make people smile again. I was in your position just several years ago, and the most valuable advice I can give you, valuable advice I can give you, is to spend your time in dental school with humility, curiosity, and positivity. You each have a commitment to excellence that has guided you to this stage in your career. You are all already successful beyond measure. Over the next years, however, I challenge you to learn to view failure not as a disappointment, but as an opportunity for growth. I remember the feeling after I received my first grade on a practical exam. It was what some may call a simple cavity preparation, and I failed miserably. After expressing my discouragement, a faculty member reminded me that this is why we call it practicing dentistry. Every plastic tooth you drill and each procedure you perform is an opportunity to better your skills. And I can promise you that this program will leave you prepared to provide outstanding care. Most importantly, though, remember to enjoy each moment of this experience. Support, encourage, and respect your peers and faculty members. We are all colleagues, and we must lift each other up in order to become the best versions of ourselves. And remember to take care of yourself. Take breaks. Go to the beach. Throughout your time here, you will make lifelong friendships and connections. The Trojan family is real, and I am honored to help in welcoming each of you to it. Fight on. Thank you, Scott. Our next speaker is what we call a super Trojan, an alumna of, se of several USC programs. She earned her bachelor degree at USC in biological and biomedical sciences before joining the Trojan dental family, completing both a doctor of dental surgery degree and a prosthodontics residency. We were so impressed by her talent as a resident that we brought her on as a faculty member. Today, She's an assistant professor of clinical dentistry who directs the fixed prosthodontics modules for our DDS and ASPID programs. In early 2020, she was named the inaugural Carl Reeder Professor of Restorative Dentistry. And in January 2022, she will be the first ever female director of our advanced prosthodontic program. Please help me welcome to the podium Dr. Cheryl Paul. It's so nice to see everyone out of scrubs, for one. <laughs> um, I'm so excited to be here today, and it's really my honor to be here speaking uh, to all of you today. Um, I'm really, I think you guys have the upper hand, um, you know, due to the unintentional delay. Um, usually I would talk about in white coat ceremonies how busy you guys will get, but you guys already have been handling the busy schedule and the workload. So really, congratulations. And I've seen many of our ASPIS students also handling, uh, being very responsible for patients and really becoming a professional. So kudos to all of you here. Um, so today, I want to focus on not, uh, you know, all these advices and word of caution, but I want to focus on what you guys are doing well, okay? I really think the DDS class and the ASPID class here today are really a cohesive class. Every year, different individuals come together, and we, when the right individuals with the right intentions and attitude come together, we feel this cohesiveness. And this is something very special, and I want you to enjoy it through your training, and I want you to re uh, remember this throughout your training and further as you become colleagues to one another. This together, stronger together mentality is what Trojan Austro family is all about. 
and I hope you feel this in years to come. Um, one other thing I wanted to share with you is my experience in teaching. Um, it's been several years since I taught the DDS in the ASPIC class. And sometimes, as much as I try to give back my knowledge and the skills that I learned from my teachers, I learn as much from the students. And one of the things that was interesting that I learned from one of the students was that they didn't really start out the strongest in the class, but they had this huge learning curve. So I was interested to find out what happened or what is you know, different about these students. And um, it, it turns out they picked up how to self-assess themselves and actually take in all the feedback and implement a change in small and big tasks. And this power of self-assessment, I'm always trying to implement into my own career, my own life, but it's hard. <laughs> so I hope that resonates to you and I hope that helps you along your way. You know, personally, I think you guys are uh, doing great. You guys are hard workers. I've seen you day in, day out at a clinic, our pre-clinic. So I want to congratulate you, and um, I'm really proud of our students here. Having said that, I look forward to your tremendous development during your remaining stay here at Austro. I, I want to thank all of your family and friends for supporting these great students. They'll need more support along the way, but I really want to thank the opportunity to speak to you here today. Congratulations. Fight on. Thank you, Dr. Park. Our next speaker is Dr. Andrew Wong. Dr. Wong graduated with his Doctor of Dental Surgery degree in 1985. For 30 years, Dr. Wong treated patients at his private practice in Alhambra, California. Outside practice, Dr. Wong has been active in organized dentistry, serving as past president of the San Gabriel Valley Dental Implant Study Club, as well as a board member and a peer review member of the San Gabriel Valley Dental Society. Andrew has been married to his wife, Julie, who is with us tonight, for 35 years, and the two are proud parents of two children, Brandon, who earned his MBA here at USC, and Erin, who earned a master's degree in architecture from MIT. Dr. Wong remained connected to USC dentistry over the, the years, serving as a past clinical instructor. Today, he's a member of our Friends of Dentistry support group. Please join me in welcoming to the podium, Dr. Andrew Wong. Thank you, Dean Sadan. It is a great honor for me to address the class of 2024 and the ASPIC class of 2022. Congratulations to all of you on this special night and to your families who get to share in your joy. I want to start by saying that you are truly a class to be reckoned with. I know that your average GPA undergrad was 3.67. Wow. <laughs> and 21 of you have your master's degree. I looked you up before I came. <laughs> With this pedigree, we are looking for great things to come from the class of 2024. But what also delighted me was that 18 of you went to that other university across town <laughs> and finally saw the light and became Trojans. <laughs> Fight on. <laughs> to the doctors of the ASPID class of 2022, you are already successful dentists, and yet here you are, gaining more knowledge by continuing your education at USC. I am truly ins inspired by all of you. <laughs> 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 
Life is full of changes. They say change is inevitable. And nowhere is that more evident than this past year. The fact that you are finally having your white coat ceremony is a testament to that change. But I'm not here to talk about change tonight. I want to talk about things that have not changed. For 124 years, USC represents a world-class dental education. That hasn't changed. Head and neck anatomy is really hard. That hasn't changed. <laughs> the thrill of reaching the apex on an extremely curved canal. That feeling hasn't changed. The personal satisfaction in helping your patient find their smile again, that hasn't changed. In fact, you will remember those smiles and the tears that came with it long after you've stopped practicing. And perhaps the most important is the fact that you will cultivate lifelong friendships here at USC. That has not changed. Of these five things, I consider two of, to be the best things that happened to me. First, I became a Trojan dentist. The skills I learned from the faculty enabled me to have a tremendously rewarding practice for over 30 years. Hall of Fame professors like Richard Kahn, Bernie Levin, and Larry Warner gave me skills that I could extrapolate to new techniques like bonded restorations and implants. I know, it's not new to you guys, but to a dinosaur like me, those were very new. <laughs> the second is the lifelong friendships that we create as a class and between faculty and students. I met my best friend while I was at dental school. And as Dean Sadan said, we've been married for 35 years. She's sitting back there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> These two unchangeable things have defined my adult life. And I have be forever grateful to USC. Of course, no speech would be complete without a piece of advice. It was 1981 during the histology final exam. Back in the day, they showed slides in the front of the lecture hall. And we have to write down the answer on a sheet of paper. Imagine that. The last slide came up. It was beautiful. All sorts of orange and red and blue. It looked like a Maui sunset. And I had no idea what it was. <laughs> so I decided to give some props to my professor, Dr. John Sewell. He was also my interviewer and recommended me for admission to USC. So I wrote down the Sewell Complex. Now, here's my advice to you. Never, ever write your professor's name down on a test. <laughs> it will backfire on you. Luckily for me, the other professor graded my exam. Otherwise, I wouldn't be standing here before you tonight. Oh, the structure on the slide? It was the anal sphincter. True story, he couldn't make that up. <laughs> you can ask some of my classmates, I think they know that story. <laughs> I did not spend a very good weekend. <laughs> you have chosen a noble profession. Take advantage of everything the Oslo School has to offer to become the clinician, 
the researcher, or the academic that you were meant to be. USC has opened your mind to an ever-expanding journey of knowledge, and I hope that will never change. I look forward to welcoming all of you as alumni and colleagues, and to watch as you carry on the proud tradition of a USC dentist. Good luck, Godspeed, and fight on. Thank you, Dr. Wong. Now it's time to address the white coat and what it stands for. It not only represents your entrance into the dental profession, it also symbolizes a solemn obligation to your mentors and the educational process, as well as an enduring commitment to service and compassion. There is a well-known USC phrase that I feel is very appropriate for this. And you have heard it a few times today already. Fight on. By putting this coat on today, you commit yourself to always fight on for your patient's health and well-being and for the integrity, honor, and ethics of your profession. At this time, please stand up and put on your white coats. Students, please repeat after me. I will dedicate my professional life to regarding each patient as a whole and complex person, promoting health to all people, identifying risk factors, and serving as an advocate for disease prevention. I will use the very best clinical diagnostic strategies, provide the finest clinical treatments and therapeutics, and continue to learn, revise, and enrich my knowledge throughout my career. I dedicate my life to the health of, of those lives I directly or indirectly touch, my family and friends, the broader community, my individual patients, and their families. I extend to the learned faculty, staff, and fellow students my full respect and gratitude, which is their due. I will always practice my profession with the highest integrity, thoughtful judgment, and skills derived from scientific evidence. I will always conduct myself with conscience, compassion, and dignity, with the health and well-being of my patients and community as the first consideration. I promise to respect the privacy of my patients. I will maintain, by all means in my power, the noble traditions of the dental profession. I will honor my fellow students 
as professional colleagues and function in such a fashion as to earn their trust and respect, and together we will nurture our shared humanity. I will not let consideration of religion, nationality, race or ethnicity, gender or sexual orientation, disabilities, political choices, or social and economic standing interfere with my duty to the patient. I will always maintain the highest respect for human life. I make these promises without hesitation, freely, and upon my honor. Congratulations to all of our students here today. Yeah. You are now you are now officially part of the Trojan Dental family. We are here to support you. My door and the doors of the faculty, staff and alumni are always open to you and your family as well. Welcome to USC and fight on. All right.
Thank you for attending the white coat ceremony. We ask that you please remain seated and allow our speakers and students to exit first. Thank you.